Plants. I love plants, especially eating them. The world of plants is amazing. Some plants are as high as a skyscraper. Many grow on the ground, and others live in the water or climb walls. Some need moisture, but others survive in scorching deserts. With all this variety, do you ever wonder what all plants have in common? Their green color? <laughs> yes, most of them are green. In addition, plants do not have legs to move, but instead are rooted in the ground. But the main characteristic of plants is that they make their own food. Make their own food? How do they do that? This is possible thanks to photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which the plant transforms solar energy into food. It takes place in the leaves. For this purpose, plants need sunlight, water and minerals from the soil, and carbon dioxide from the air. The plant absorbs water and mineral salts through the roots, which then mix and form a substance called raw sap. This substance ascends to the leaves through the stem. Through the leaves, the plant absorbs carbon dioxide and solar energy, which then mix with the raw sap. In this way, the elaborated sap is created, which is the plant's food. Photosynthesis is fundamental to the survival of nature. Thanks to photosynthesis, plants grow and become food for other living things. And besides, they clean the air, expelling oxygen into the atmosphere for other living beings to breathe. Mmm. Ah. What about plants? Do they breathe? Yes. Although they have no nose or mouth, plants respire through small holes in their leaves called stomata. During respiration, plants take in oxygen and expel carbon dioxide, the opposite of photosynthesis. I understand. The leaves' function is to breathe and to produce the plant's food. Mm, but what are the flowers for? Flowers are responsible for reproduction. They have a male part and a female part. The male sex cells are in the pollen. Insects come to flowers, attracted by their bright colors, and pollen sticks to their bodies. Later, these insects and the wind carry the pollen from flower to flower, thus uniting the male cells and the female cells. Therefore, fertilization occurs. Over time, the flower will become a fruit with seeds, and the seed will grow a new plant. Cherry tree, the cherry is the fruit, and the seed is the bone. Mmm, cherries. When will they grow? Let's see. Mmm, too long. Mm. 